Morning, it's Thursday morning. We're packing for Vidal. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Mary. It's Mary. Hey, Dan. Rory. Come, we've got to get to school. We've got to get to school. We're going tomorrow. Thank Mary's, you. Mary's going you. to go and Mary's going to go and pack everything today and take the trailer up and set up camp for us. So when we get there tomorrow, we can chillax. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so we're here at Vidal at last. It's normally an annual trip at this time of year for, well for most avid anglers, at least at some point during end of October, mid-November to end of November and then obviously through uh, December is always good uh, good fishing times here. And yeah, it's always great to be back. You're, you're in the bush and then just over the dunes there is the big blue and uh, full of all the game fish we want to try and target. The fishing could be good because we've had a northeaster blowing for a few days and then it switches to a southwest and that normally is the perfect uh, weather for, for Cape Vidal. So hopefully we get a couple of Dorado in the hatch and uh, yeah, it should be good. Everyone wants to see the sea. Last track of the forest to the trees. Yeah. Whoa. Well, there we go. First morning, vital trip. Hey, beautiful. Can't ask for anything better. This is why we come here. Full of game fish a lot of the time. Other side of the dunes, uh, game reserve. As you can see rhino, buffalo. The kids love it. My friends for another year. Say Cape Vidal. We're just here with uh, Clyde Kutzer here from uh, NSRI uh, St. Lucia. Clyde, nice of you to join us. Um, Thank you. You know, a lot of guys have this, have also have this um, perception of being scared to call you guys. They think they're going to get charged, they think they're going to get into trouble, but that's what you're there for. And you guys are happy to rescue anyone, but it, it is, I guess it must be a bit annoying or infuriating when guys push the boundaries sometimes when they don't need to. Exactly that. I also just want to mention something that nobody actually realizes. Is it? It's called the rule of 12s. You've got a low tide and a high tide. Mm. Low tide, the water will be sort of stagnant because there's a change of tide. At the time from a low tide to a high tide, the volume of water flow, say now at 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock, the mid, in the mid, is the highest amount of water flow. So try not to swim at that time. That's when that drip is phenomenal. Mm. You, you will never swim against it, ever. Not even we do. Important that, and they mustn't hesitate ever. Yeah. That's what you guys are there for yeah. to have our backs. <laughs> and we'll, we'll keep putting and <laughs> pulling out the pocket to have your back. I uh, know yeah, that'll be lovely. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Thanks a million, Jeff. Have a lovely day.
Okay guys, uh, we, as you can see, we're not on the ocean. We're here at Cape Vidal, um, but we're not on the water today yet. Um, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. If you came out here and looked, you, if, you, if you're maybe a first time or if you think, oh, it's not too bad, but it's, it is a bit of a washing machine in the launch site. Byron wants to, me to push out the pedal ski because he reckons he'd like to see me drilled on the back of the pedal ski. I think it's, it's fine for a pedal ski. I mean, there's a little shore here. Just at the back of the channel, and then a small backline of about five foot. Well, you know where mine is. Go <laughs> <laughs> uh, that east key's been red two days of big east, um, and there's a west coming. So if you look to the to the south, you can see there's a big bank of cloud. And the remnants of the northeast is just finishing sucking in. It sucked in hard last night, blowing about 15 to 20 knots all day yesterday. But so the, it's, the good thing is this morning it was a lot worse than this. So it's, it's starting yeah. to it's starting to clean up a bit. So I'm packing to do a little bit of a quick mission up to Vidal. There seems to be a gap tomorrow. I got the call from old Byron and I'm packing as quick and fast as I can. But we're gonna have a full day tomorrow and then maybe a morning on, on Monday. So we're gonna go and do a bit of poiki, but a vino today, a bit of tears. We finished with Captain Morgan last night. We're finishing breakfast now and then we're gonna go I think and take a little game drive. And see, go do a bit of exploring. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're very uh, spoilt to be able to come up to Vidal. Um, definitely wasn't wasn't safe to launch this morning. So actually, in fact, no one launched. Not even the paddle ski guys went out. No jet skis either. So, um, but that is the beauty of Vidal that. Uh, if you can't fish, you can game drop. So yeah, we've loaded the families into two cars, and then tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna press hard. We're gonna go early. Hopefully, get on the water. We're fishing on the back of the west. Uh, this place, as far as I remember, does like the west. Uh, so hopefully, we uh, well, we'll be fishing on the low pressure. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to get a bite. Chase down some dorado, maybe a puta. So I'm looking forward to that, but we're just having a lovely afternoon, relaxed, slow cruise, checking out the game. So we're on the road, we're passing Imtanzini now on the way to Cape Vidal KZN. So Vidal is a strange, strange place and I really, um, I'm quite enjoying this horrible weather we're driving through now because it creates current. So obviously you can't fish today, um, the guys are down there ready at the bugger up, there's been more game driving. So this weather is going to create current, it's going to create rips. So I'm really, really looking forward to what's going to be produced tomorrow. Back. Hello, late but not as late as Kirk. Late. Yeah, not as late as Kirk. Well done. <laughs> Trying to redeem myself after Sedwana's episode one. So I liked your I liked your point. No, I didn't even like my own point. <laughs> nice to be back in Vidal. Hey? Bit of bush, bit of mates, bit of fishing. Always good to, to be back here. A special place. Ah oh, well it's afternoon now, so we're gonna make the fire. And he's making a poiki there. And uh, it's about time you did something constructive instead of just holding a camera, you know that? Yeah, yeah, just holding a camera. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> I'm in a much better mood today than I was yesterday when it was raining. And uh, we were doing my most favorite thing, camping in the rain. But um, it was all worthwhile. We've seen off hopefully the bad weather. And now we're gonna hit the queue for the launch here. Life jacket, check. One packing system, check. And gloves, check. 
you guys, it's color coding. Huh? This is, look at it. I can't even tell the jacket from my fingers. Uh, game plan today? Well, it would have been to be on a kayak, but my cameraman, my editor, my boss, Cameron, he, camera boss, <laughs> he said no, I need to be on the boat. This is my first time fishing on Cape Vidal and I'm very very excited. I was holding back a bit because I was a bit nervous for the launch but then I just said to myself always say yes to new adventures and gonna go for it and I'm hoping to catch a good game fish like a pita or a tuna or maybe hopefully a particle sun. So yeah let's just see what the day holds and yes to new adventures. <laughs> we'll probably just We'll, we'll probably play it as we see what's happening out on the water. If there's bait and there's fish around nearby, well then we just fish close. Because then you don't need to go far, because then the fish are here. So yeah, hopefully there's, there's fish right here and then we can um, get some uh, good action, get some good footage and then hopefully I can get on the kayak this afternoon. I'll, I'll have to ask Cam's yeah. permission though, of course. Okay, thank you. Well done, BK. Shot, bro. Well done. Shot. Long time. Morning. Welcome to Cape Vidal. What a cracker, hairy launch. Wow. The biggest surf I've ever seen uh, at Vidal. But everyone made it safely. So I'm going to rig a Natal sardine quick. I've got my pen fathom. I've got a little chin weight and I've got a Tarpon. I've got my sardine here. I'm trying to get live bait. I don't want to waste too much time. So I'll try again later. So wait. Make sure that you check it's sitting. I'll probably let that out 20 or 30, 30 meters. We're at a place here called Slides. As you can see, Slides is the bank part of Cape Vidal where it slid down. So then Slides and there's the lighter. We're just going to pop them out uh, while we look for more bait. Uh, yeah, pretty much anything will try that thing. Got a small little steel trace on the little pink skirt to so just uh, connect to the next track tractor. You know the story, don't ever discard sand.
a head shake there. I'm getting very excited on the possibly a yellow. I don't know what the shark situation is here. So the beauty of Lawrence and this HDS is that um, I found a bait showing. So now I'm scrolling back. I already scrolled back. I'm scrolling back. Oh, here it comes. Go down, Brennan. There's a showing there. So I've scrolled back now. You can scroll all the way back, and there's the showing. So there's the showing there. And then I marked it, and there's the mark there. So I'm going back up on the mark now. And uh, the showing's holding there. So it's a good sign. This one's, oh there you go, see, anti-aging, <laughs> anti-burn, water resistant, that's all important, so, so skin cancer, and protecting your skin. Where are you going? Wait, man, I'm not gonna get it. Let me see if I get the hook up. Put one uh, Speed Pro red and white and one Helco two meter diver. And they both went tight. Lovely to feel fish bending again, Dad.
up to Kuros up. You can see where your lines are. And you probably are you over each other. Oh, that's this line, yeah, that's this line, don't worry. It's just like Keep your right to the right, let's keep pressure, that's it, well done. Oh, you're pulling it that way. Double up, we're going to jump. Right on that color line, eh? As you went over. Oh, you can see the showing. Go around, Brennan. Go around. Okay. One in the water. One in the water. Keep keep winding. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Get some line up. Get some line up. It's a yellow thing. Tonight. Went down to the drop shot, into the showing, I said to Rory, I'm gonna go on. I'm not gonna wind him up too fast. BG5000. Oh, he just got a chance. Oh, see, I wasn't, far, wasn't pulling him fast, so he got down. Selfish on you. Don't let him signal. You get some jumps. There it is. Oh, lovely. So, yeah, we got a selfish on you. underneath me lovely color Give me a good run. I'm trying to revive it. Right, so there we are. It's quite a long day out here. Um, we got to uh, tuna. Sorry, uh, it's probably about mid morning or so. Now we're gonna. Uh, pack up and head back in. The surf seems to have flattened a bit. It was a bit of a, a hair raising launch this morning, but yeah, uh, it should be a little bit better now going in. So yeah, see you guys on the beach.